Hey there, it's Lindsay from Desert Life with Lindsay, and in this video I'm showing you the process I use to update my master bathroom cabinets. This is an affordable way to update cabinets without having to replace them, and I can't wait for you to see the outcome. If you've watched any of my DIY videos before, you may have noticed I always start by prepping before painting. Here I'm using a TSP cleaner mixed with water. You can find this at your local hardware store, but just be sure to wear gloves when using TSP. Bathroom cabinets tend to build up things like hairspray and oils from our hands, so it's worth it to have a clean surface so your paint applies and dries evenly. Prepping doesn't take long and it's well worth it every time. After cleaning the surface with the TSP, I used a different spray bottle with just water to thoroughly remove all of the cleaning product. I use clean paper towels to wipe off the water. Next up, I taped off around the cabinets while they were drying. I used a piece of 180 grit sandpaper to gently scuff sand all of the cabinet doors. Dixie Bell's website says this step is not necessary for their chalk mineral paint, but I have found it to be helpful with projects I've completed in the past. I only scuff sanded the cabinet doors and drawers. After sanding, I use a tack cloth to wipe off any dust or debris. If you've never used tack cloth before, it's a little sticky so it helps grab small particles, but you could also use a clean paper towel if you don't have tack cloth. Painting the cabinet doors is much easier if you remove them first. This only takes a few seconds, and I recommend labeling them on the hinge or using painter's tape on your drop cloth to label them so you don't mix them up when it's time to put them back on. The paint I'll be using for these cabinets is a chalk mineral paint from Dixie Bell, and according to their website, this step is also not necessary for their chalk mineral paint. But with previous experiences, I've found a coat of primer also helps contribute to a better end result, so it's completely up to you, but if you have the time, I do recommend priming it. And this primer I'm using is one that I picked up from a hardware store as well. If you've watched the video I made using Dixie Bell's Silk Paint from my other bathroom cabinets, you may have noticed it's a similar process, but a little different. I actually didn't use primer for that project because the Silk Paint has a built-in primer, and it held up really well. If you haven't watched that one yet, be sure to check it out for more cabinet painting inspo. One random thing I would like to mention is to make these kinds of projects even more fun, I like to turn on a podcast or some music and make myself a cup of coffee for a boost of motivation. Instead of removing everything from the cabinets, I used a roll of pre-taped painter's plastic from the hardware store to prevent paint from splattering on anything. This is the color I'm painting the cabinets. It's actually a limited edition release from Dixie Belle in the color Latte. And as you can see, it's literally the color of a latte, so like a warm beige with light brown undertones. I wanted to go with the neutral color for these cabinets, but I couldn't decide on just one, so I can't wait for you to see the end result. But for now, let's talk about applying chalk mineral paint. If you've never painted before or you feel like you want a user-friendly type of paint, I strongly recommend this one. After using some other brands, I still find myself coming back to this one. It applies easy and typically has a quick dry time. Dixie Belle has several different types of paint, as well as products depending on what kind of project you're working on, and a wide range of colors. You can buy directly from their website, or you can check to see if there are any local retailers near where you live. It's a nice alternative if you want to see the colors in person and avoid paying shipping. This type of paint does work well with water, so throughout this process I used a continuous spray bottle to keep the brush damp.
It helps to paint in the direction of the wood grain when you can for a smooth finish. And when you're applying the paint, you don't want to go back and rework an area after about 45 seconds or so to avoid pulling the paint. But don't worry, once that coat is dry, you can always go back and apply another one or do some touch-ups. This paint does tend to thicken up after it's been sitting out, so don't be afraid to spray your brush throughout this process. Since the Latte Color is limited edition, you might be able to find it from a third party seller online or you can actually mix different shades of Dixie Belle to get a very close match and you could also mix if you're wanting to go for a more custom look. I did end up applying three coats of the latte color to the cabinets, but that's another nice thing about this paint. It's completely up to you depending on the look you're going for. Two coats would have been fine, but I really wanted to go for the full coverage look. For the pull-out drawers, I wanted to paint them a slightly different color for a bit of contrast, so I went with Sawmill Gravy. It's described as another variation of beige that has a subtle warmth of brown mixed with a soft white. For the last step of the painting process, I used a satin clear coat and applied two coats total. The brushes I use in this video are from a hardware store as well, but Dixie Belle does make brushes too, they're just a little bit more on the pricey side. I like to use this tool when placing hardware, it seems to make it easier to find the perfect spot for placement. I absolutely love this inexpensive hardware that I found, I think it made a great finishing touch to the cabinets and their new look. Here's a before pick one more time. I think the color contrast with the doors and the drawers turned out great. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope this video inspires you to create a new look for some cabinetry. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to ask in the comments. Check out some of my other DIY videos for other projects I've completed around the house. Thanks again for watching and take care.